Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you're doing well. This is going to be another update for the Loves Me, Loves Me Not project. This is a project 10 uses that I am doing in collaboration with Jenna and Lara. Jenna has a YouTube channel as well. Lara is solids crazy over on Instagram. I will have their information linked down below. I believe some other people have also joined into this project, like my friend Christelle over on Instagram. So I'll include her Instagram account link down below as well. And I think there's a few other people as well that have jumped in on this, but I don't have whoever I have, they'll be linked down below. All right. So basically the point of this project is to rotate through 10 products at all times, use them 10 times, and then roll them out. And I cannot think of a project that I have enjoyed doing more than this in a long time. I am feeling extremely inspired by this project. It's just what I needed. And a lot of you guys were encouraging me to move in this direction for the last year. And I just didn't know how. And when I started seeing Phoebe do this project last year and I started thinking about it, I realized that this was the perfect project for me. It's what I needed. And so rather than picking out one item from a category and working on it for months and months and months and you know a year plus to finish it before I pick a new item, I can do that while also rotating through some items that haven't been touched in forever. And I'm just having a blast. I am having so much fun that I have met my goal on five items over the last month. So there's five products that were in rotation that I have used 10 or more times. They will be getting rolled out and five new ones will be getting rolled in. So let's get into it. I will talk about each item and then show you the new ones that are getting rolled in. Okay, an item that started in this project at the beginning of January and I finally used 10 times as of yesterday is my ColourPop Liquid Lipstick in the shade Solo. This is the first ColourPop Liquid Lipstick I ever bought. It's one of the matte formulas and from the time I first put it on my lips, I thought it looked absolutely atrocious. I, I just couldn't believe how bad it looked on me. Cracked, dry, aging, Everything you do not want in a lip product, this was doing for me. And I tried it maybe one or two more times, but for the most part, this has been untouched in my stash. I pulled it out thinking I would try it a few more times, realize I couldn't make it work, and then declutter it. But in the end, I found a way to make it work. I talked about this at last month's update, but basically the way this works for me is I apply a lip liner that kind of goes with this. I used either a pinky red lip liner or a more neutrally tan lip liner. It didn't really matter. That's not the point. The point is just to have the lip liner to kind of give my lips the shape and then dot this on my bottom lip and then spread it out with my finger in the thinnest layer possible. And then once that's dry, I can apply a lip gloss on top to make it more wearable, more comfortable, more youthful looking. It's just a look that I like. I like a glossy lip. If you don't like a glossy lip, you don't have to put the gloss on top. It'll still look nice because you applied a very thin layer. It lasts all day long. Um, and it looks great. Even as it starts to fade off, it fades off very nicely. I have been loving this. I cannot believe I found a way to make that work. I did not see that coming. I really thought I was going to end up decluttering this. So yeah, I'm really glad I found a way to make this work. I did use it 10 times though, so it'll be getting rolled out of this project. And hopefully I'll see it again down the road. There were two lip liners in this project and I used both of them 10 times. Shortly after the last update, I used this Estee Lauder lip pencil in the shade Tawny the 10th time. And this is a, a lovely like pinky neutral lip color that I like very much. I think I have two of these, so I'm glad I got a chance to use this 10 times. It's nice. I'd love to put it in a project. I also used this very, very old Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in the shade Wines. And I found this to be very nice. It worked well with the pinky red lipstick that's in my experiment. It worked very well with a lip balm that's in this project. 
I found this to be a lovely color and I'm really happy I used it because I've had this forever and I haven't touched it in years. So I'm really glad I got a chance to re-familiarize myself with this product and I was surprised to find out that it's so much more wearable than I remember it being because I probably bought this like in high school. A product I ended up getting 12 uses out of is this concealer from Edward Best. This is in the shade Ivory Nude. I bought this off of Holt Look. It was without a doubt an impulse buy, but I, when I shop on Holt Look, I always spend $100 to get to the free shipping. It's like a compulsion. I cannot do anything besides spend $100. I try not to go over $100, but I try to get exactly to $100. And so I probably threw this in to get the free shipping. And I had never really used it, so that's ridiculous. It's a light shade, so this was a good time to try it out. I think this could be good for brightening in certain areas of my face, but I actually ended up using it mostly for spot concealing because I was having some breakouts. And I used it 12 times, but I have other concealers that I'm working on right now, so this is gonna get rolled out. And the last product that will be getting rolled out is this eyeliner from Mariposa in the shade Iridescent Violet. Another ancient product. Just some of these products have been going back so far. I don't remember having a makeup stash without these products in them because they've always been in there. And I ended up using this 14 times, which is really good. I actually was able to sharpen it because I had to. And so that's awesome. And prior to discovering the panning community on Instagram, I don't know how I would have used this because I would hardly call a light, light, lilac -y purple shade a good eyeliner. I mean, when I think of eyeliners, I think of a dark shade that defines my lashes, which this will not do. But because of all the tricks I've learned over the years from the panning community, I use this as an eyeshadow base and I thought it was absolutely amazing. I really enjoyed this and there's something funny that's happened from this project and that is by the time I've used these products 10 times, my immediate thought is I should put this in a project and finish it. Like, I don't want to stop. I have this compulsion to keep going and using it until it's gone. It's the panner in me. And so all of these products, I immediately want to roll over into another project. And actually, one of the lip liners from last round, I did roll over into another project and I'm trying to finish now. So that's kind of funny is that I keep catching myself thinking, oh, I should pan this. I should put this in a project. I don't have a project for this immediately, but I do hope to roll this into a project down the road. Okay, there are five products that I did use over the past month but have not hit the 10 use mark on yet, so let me go through them really quickly. This eyeliner in the shade Taupe um, from Nat Robbins, I actually did not use it at all. I'm still at the one use mark, so I need to get going on this. I'm going to try and incorporate it into more looks. I will probably also be using this as an eyeshadow base because it is way too light to be an effective eyeliner. The Too Faced liquid lipstick in Queen Bee, I have now used three times. I like this shade, but it's like a nudie brownie shade and I've been going for more pinky tones. So I'm just not as gravitated towards this product than some of the other lip products, but I like it very much. It's very comfortable. I like the way it feels on my lips. It's a good product. I just haven't gotten 10 uses on it yet. I have used this Avon Slick Tints in Glossy Wine four times, including today I'm wearing it right now. And it is surprisingly pigmented for a lip balm. It's also very long lasting for a lip balm. Like it stains my lips just a little bit so that there's color on there even after the product has rubbed off and I like that a lot. I'm still at the one use mark for this nail teeny nail polish with these gold bar glitters or these bar glitters I think they're called. I'm gonna get there, I'll get there. I'm gonna use it at least once in the next month. It's not easy. I have used this Milani 3D nail polish in the shade High Tech, High Tech two more times. It's a three coater. I'm wearing it right now on my nails. They, this holds up surprisingly well. 
I should probably do my nails again tonight, but I did them last Thursday. Wow. This has held up for almost a week. That's pretty amazing. And even though I've only used this four times total since the start of this project, I feel like the polish is going down a surprising amount. This is a very thin formula. It dries very quickly. It's kind of amazing considering how old it is, but I'm not a big fan of this green color on my nails. It's not a color that I'm like, ooh, I just love that green color, but it's a nice polish so I can appreciate it. And if there's a time of year to wear a nice pastel green, it's spring and I'm feeling the spring vibes. So we're gonna keep working on this while we're in spring. Okay, those are the 10 items. Five are rolling out, which means I'm gonna roll five new ones in. And I'm really excited. They are lip product heavy. Those seem to be the products I can move through a little faster than other products. Let me show you what they are. The first item is a dual ended product. I'm gonna count each end as one item. This is an old eyeliner from Lorac. Uh, I probably bought this off of Hot Look. The dark side is called Black Cherry Liner and the light side is called Copper Luster. They both have a little like um, paintbrush style applicator and I haven't used this in a long time, but yeah, time to use this 10 times. I'm gonna use this 10 times, I'm gonna use this 10 times. They're two separate products for the sake of this project. Because spring is right around the corner and every spring I get in the mood to wear a purpley toned lip product, I decided to roll in Too Faced's Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in the shade Fig. This is the sample size. I bought this in a trio from a Christmas set a while back. I have used this, it's not brand new, but I have not used it in a long, long, long time. And I'm just in the mood for these, this kind of shade, this kind of purpley pink shade. So I thought it was the right project to roll it into. And I've decided to roll in two more lip liners, both of them very, very old and both of them pink. This is not the cap for this pencil. I lost the cap a million years ago. Um, it's a hot pink. I will probably pair it with the Too Faced liquid lipstick or I might try to wear this on its own as just a lip color, but I've had this forever, forever. It's, I don't understand how it still works, but it does. And then if this doesn't let you know how old it is, this is Gap makeup. Yes, every once in a while I talk about the fact that Gap used to make and sell makeup and nail polish, and it was a very exciting time for me. It was around the same time I lived inside of malls. And I bought this lip pencil. The shade is called Pink. And it's much more muted and dark than this one, but it is a lovely pink. And I haven't used this or touched this lip liner in forever. I'm gonna use it 10 times. I'm really excited. It takes me a long time to go through a lip liner and I have quite a stash. I know that if you guys watch my inventory, you've already seen these all laid out, but this is where I keep my lip liners and the majority of these are all pinky nude lip liners because I love a pinky nude lip liner, but boy, I would love to just rotate through these one by one throughout this project and just use them 10 times. That's it, just use them 10 times. So these will just keep going in and out of this project as I use them up 10 times and I can re-familiarize with myself with these because I feel like I haven't touched them in years. I've just been working on like the same couple lip liners for like three years, it's crazy. Yeah. All right guys, that is it for this update. I love this project so, so, so much. I hope you check out everybody else down below that is doing this project with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.